Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we are on day six <laughs> of the new Tom Ford eyeshadow quads. We're going to be talking about Leopard Sun today. This one is a real beauty, especially if you're into warm tones. So if you're interested in seeing me do a demo of this eye look, give you a review, give you some swatches, then just keep on watching. So if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. I have been talking about these new Tom Ford quads for what feels like forever now at this point, but I covered Virgin Orchid Daydream uh, Photosynthesis the sex and pretty baby uh, just this past week and so today we're moving on to leopard sun I will link to all the videos down below in my description box if you're interested in checking out the reviews for those so I don't have that much additional to say about this particular palette I will just kind of run through the format and the layout of leopard sun so we have a really beautiful glittery top coat and this is definitely more of a top coat than say what was in the photo synthesex quad that one was definitely more of just sort of like a glitter shade it had a lot more pigment in there this one is definitely more of like the Tom Ford top coat it's a little bit more sheer but that's not to say it doesn't have a lot of impact it looks very very kind of wet on the eyelids and it's super super glittery I actually have it over all three shadows on my eyes right now again which you'll see in the demo towards the end of this video and then the three other shades in here are all satins Tom Ford seems to be putting a lot of satins in the quads the only matte that I've seen is that kind of cool toned green shade in the photosynthesis quad all the rest of the quads so far have some sort of finish to them um, other than that whether it's satin glitter top coat um, or that wet dry formula that we see in the virgin orchid and the daydream so he's consistent there so these three are all satins they're all really really beautiful these two the kind of cinnamon spice color and this gold color here very pigmented really beautiful on the eyelids this gold color uh, I have on my inner corners and I brought it just a little bit in um, on my inner portion of the lid and it's so it's just it's such a rich rich gold color it's like a 24 karat gold that's been like turned up just a little bit it's really stunning this color is absolutely beautiful I feel like this is like the color for fall at least for me I'm seeing it in a lot of like ready to wear I'm seeing it in a lot of like knitwear uh, I'm even seeing it in a lot of like athleisure. I'm seeing a lot of like tights in this color I feel like this has become kind of like the new neutral for fall and then we have another uh, Satin brown we've seen a bunch of satin browns in the new quads So what I've done is I've just swatched them all for you next to one another just um, just for comparison's sake So here is the leopard Sun one and that's the first one I swatched and then right next to that is the photosynthesex and you'll see that the photosynthesex actually has a lot more uh, like red in this particular brown this brown is a much kind of like warmer uh, yellowy kind of gold base to it and then finally we have the satin brown that's in the pretty baby quad and this one I want to say is the coolest brown out of the bunch it has a lot of like a uh, bluish purple tone base in there so all of the satin browns in these new quads are different uh, but they all kind of behave the same they're very kind of softly and subdued kind of pigmented brown which I and I've said this before in the other videos I personally enjoy I don't like really deep dark rich colors to be overly pigmented it just kind of sets you up for failure it's too hard to blend out or it takes too long to blend out and to me there's really no point in that so I would rather lay down layers and sort of customize the opacity and customize the pigmentation to my liking by simply building up so this brown in here is no different from any of the other ones that I've shown you in the other palettes really soft really really beautiful performs beautifully blends out nicely and all the satins that I've come across in all the new quads while they're not they're obviously not matte but they're not overly shiny so I don't feel uncomfortable using them either as a transition shade or in my socket line crease area uh, which I know a lot of people really depend on mattes for but because these satins aren't you know overly overly metallic overly reflective and I think they work really nicely in that area so if you're interested in seeing how I achieve this eye look let's get into the demo right now all right so I've put primer uh, just on this eye so we can see if there's any difference between the two I've got my Tom Ford number 13 blending brush I'm gonna go into this uh, cinnamon shade here and I'm gonna put this all over my lid and then up into my like socket line area and blend that upwards Wow, that shade blends out beautifully. 
Next, I'm gonna go into the dark brown satin shade here. I'm gonna take my Sony G Worker One Brush and I'm gonna apply this to the outer corner of my eye and blend that up into my socket line as well. Next, I'm gonna grab my Esam W21 brush. I'm gonna go into this gold shade here and I'm gonna apply this to the inner corners of my eyes and bring it onto the inner portion of my lid a bit. Then I'm gonna take my Sonia G Smudger One brush. I'm gonna go back into this uh, cinnamon spicy shade and I'm going to line my lower lash line with this. And then last but not least, I'm gonna take another blending brush. Uh, this is another Tom Ford 13 brush that I have. I'm gonna dip it into the golden shade ever so slightly and blend out the top edge of my eyeshadow here. So there's my eyeshadow look using the three satin shades in this palette and just wanna give you guys a good look before I move on to applying the uh, glittery shade here. So I'm gonna apply this right on top to the center of my lid. So there is the eyeshadow applied. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. All right, so here is my final look. I will leave all the details as to what is on my face down below my description box as I normally do. So just to wrap up this video, I really am enjoying this palette. This one is definitely uh, one of the more comfortable ones for me. I wanna say all of the ones so far have been like a little bit out of my comfort zone because they've been either on the cooler side or they just kind of incorporated colors that I'm not used to using like the Photosynthesex with that kind of tealy green or even African Violet with that really bright magenta. And the other three that I reviewed, which were all on the cooler side, which I like, and I'm not, um, that's not totally out of my comfort zone, but I do tend to gravitate more towards neutral, uh, and warm leaning neutrals uh, for like everyday looks. So this one was definitely uh, very comfortable for me to use. This one I definitely, you know, when I saw previews of all seven uh, new quads, this and the one that I still have not gotten my hands on, the Super Nouveau, were the two that I was like, okay, definitely. Definitely. Those were the two that were like, okay, they really, really speak to me. Like, no doubt, I'm definitely gonna be loving those. And I really do. The quality is there. They blend really beautifully. Again, I saw absolutely no difference between the eye with the primer down and the eye without the primer down. I think that speaks really highly of these shadows. And I just love everything about this one. So definitely give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below if you have any questions about this palette or any of the new Tom Ford palettes. Uh, I will definitely be posting the Super Nouveau as soon as as I get my grubby little paws on it and subscribe before you leave. I'll see you in my next video.